trying to reconnect. Oh God. Who is this? Which one is this? It's gotta be. Oh, it would be my main one, wouldn't it? What is the devil? Busy. Hey y'all, give me a second. Let me reboot this one cell phone. Hey. What's going on? Let me reboot this one um cell phone. It's Facebook. My main Facebook page. Not y'all. Y'all good. Wait. What page is this? These are my Facebook friends. Okay, hey friends. Okay, I'm rebooting the Facebook fan page one. Oof. What's up? All right, let's see. This should work now. At least I hope it should. So let's all copy. Uh, what's on your mind? Live video. Paste, brazen chicken, go live. Let's see if this works. All right, so far, so good. Hi, everybody. What is going on? Y'all all right? Get some little selves in here. Oh, I got to get a control to somebody on Face. I mean, on Instagram. Oh, there go Mama Karen right there. She can moderate. Add as a moderator. Get them. Although I should have had Breon. Breon is the one. She going to get everybody out. Okay, she will get everybody up out of here. Well, happy, 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 what's today? Tuesday? Monday. Oh my God, today's Monday. Can you believe it? I know, today is, today is Monday. Well... No sense of us beating around the bush. We've got things to accomplish today. So I think we should hop to it. What do you think? Yes? Okay. I'll just need a little bit of watermelon. I don't need that much. So I'm going to cut off this little piece at the end and see if it's enough for me to scoop out. Try this now. Let's try it again. Okay. I'm just going to cut me a little tincture of watermelon. Woo! Girl, you scared the shit out of me. Okay? okay. You didn't want to say, announce yourself? Yeah, you was, I was... All right. All right. You almost got this knife. I ain't hear nothing. You almost got this knife hurled at you. Okay. I've been in by myself the whole day. All right. I just need a little tinge of watermelon. I don't need that much. So I just cut me a slice out of this, okay? And, oh, let me, put the, let me cut the oven on. We got a lot of work to do. Hold on one second, let me get the oven red up. Hi, convection bake at 350, start. Okay, watermelon. I just want the meat like out the watermelon. You know what I'm saying? Just for a little extra je ne sais quoi. You know what that means? I don't even. I could be quite honest with you. I don't, fuck, don't know. I just hear people say it. It means something extra. I don't speak French. Uh, I speak English. A little speaking in tongues. <laughs> Not that much. I grew up Baptist. Okay, this is watermelon. You're going to put the watermelon in the blender, okay? Just a little bit. Or put as much as you want. Hmm. It ain't really watermelon season like that, but we gonna act like it is in our mind. What season is this? Watermelon season. I gotta get some ice. Can y'all hold the line one second, please? Thank you. Yeah, I had to. 
watermelon, and ice. Now, to help out the watermelon, I got a little uh, watermelon mixer, okay? Because sometimes it don't be watermelon -y enough and you got to help it out a little bit. So that's watermelon. Watermelon. Cigars on ice. Cigars on ice. I don't own the rights to this music. Okay, then this is a, a little taint of sweet and sour. Because what do we like? It's sweet and sour. Okay, I have no idea how this is going to taste. So I'm going to taste it first. Make sure it's got the right, you know, enough sugar and stuff. This is lime juice. I think you know it. It don't matter who scrolls it, all right? The people down, Nelly and Joe down to the famous Key West Lime Juice Company. Nelly and Joe made this, and we really appreciate both Nelly and Joe's commitment to squeezing this out, okay? Now, what I said I needed to do, hold on, I gotta grab this, and I need to grab, I could use this, but I thought I had a little piece of, um, Oh, I do. Look at me. Right here. I got it. Shout out to Monifa, who came to dining with Darius Cooks in... Philadelphia, maybe? For what? She bought me this. Which one? The one from New York. I mean, what you want? The White Hennessy. I think it was Philly. Three o'clock? It wasn't seven. Mm -hmm. so it, had to be three. it had to be three. Shout out to Monifa. Yeah, definitely Monifa, because I called her Fatima going out the door. I was in Philly. If you know anything about Philly, yeah, you know. Oh, no. That was three o'clock. It was definitely three o'clock, because I called her Fatima, and she was like, Monifa? I was like, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Um, in Philadelphia, there's a lot of Muslims. And so, you know, Saudia and Fatima, you know, those are like common names in you know, out of the Okay, white hintersee. White hintersee. Okay, just a, a couple of shots is all you need. Let's see. I think I might need some more ice though. We're gonna see in a second. That's it. Put that together and see what the Lord got for you. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me see. Let me let me let me wipe this off. I don't like this watermelon juice sitting on here like this. Beautiful. Okay, this is a blender. You gotta plug it up. And then you put this on here like this, see? You see that, huh? You didn't see that, huh? Let me see if I need a little, um, I definitely want to put some more ice in here. But let's see if I need a little more sugar. Mm-hmm. A touch more of that. And let me get some more ice. I like mine a little bit more icy than this. Hold the line, please. Thank you. Y'all can't see it, but I got a Darius Cooks Plus sign on the wall right here. You can't see it, but it's over there. It's over there. And Crystal was saying she like, I put it on the wall. Corey gonna say, who did that? <laughs> Sir, I did. Um, hello? to be good to go. Let me just do one final taste. Make sure I got my stuff together. I think I do. Hello. Hello. I don't taste, a, I don't taste no Hennessy. Huh? This is 
called a watermelon margarita frozen, okay? Watermelon margaritas, but I made it with Hennessy, so it's really a margar, it's really a watermelon Hennessy Rita. Deal with it, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Deal with that, why don't you? Everybody bow your head. Mm. I don't taste no Hennessy. Mm. Mm. Somebody said, fix Facebook. What's wrong with Facebook? At this time, if you are visiting us for the first, second, or third time, we ask that at this moment, you please stand. Ain't nothing wrong with Facebook. It is our extreme pleasure to have you visiting us tonight with service. We do thank you for coming. We do hope that something is said or done this evening that really encourages your heart and you come back and visit us again. At this time, we do have impact agents coming from the rear of the sanctuary. The impact agents are here to hand you an information card. We do ask that when you go around for offering, you put the information card in the basket so that we may stay. That's the band. They was a little early. That's the band, we let them finish. Praise God. We do ask that when you go around for offering, you put the information card in the offering basket so that we may stay in contact with you. Now, we do ask that you go to the east vestibule, not the west vestibule, the east vestibule to claim your free gift. If you go to the west vestibule, we do have Dentistry, dentistry students who are there to practice on any seniors who are missing teeth. So if you need dentures and you cannot afford them, you can go to the East Vestibule this evening uh, and show your gums and they will attend to you. At this time, we would like to welcome you. Let the foodie in me, love the foodie in you. Let the foodie in me, love the foodie in you. Cause you're easy. Mm, 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 mm. You're easy. Mm, 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 mm. You're easy. Bop, 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 bop. Easy to love. You may be seated in his presence. Now we got a lot of food to cook. Let's get busy. First thing I want to do, I got a chicken down from the supermarket they had. And I said to myself, I said, we ought to braise this. This is good though. Mike, I mean, I don't taste am bit of white here to see in this at all. But with the cocktails, I typically do hit and never miss. Somebody came in, Donald Darius Cook, saying, what you drinking? I said, water. Where the cocktails at? I said, girl, I only do cocktails. Uh, I only fool around with cocktails when I'm cooking live. Other than that, other than that, I do not be out here carrying on like that. I can't believe that. She was like, well, I thought you drink. See, if the crazy thing is my staff, they can count on one hand the number of times they see me drink. You know why? Because I don't. <laughs> Unless I'm cooking live. That's it. This is like juice. Mm -hmm. Easy to love. All right, let's go to work. We have lots to do this evening. I can't be playing with y'all. 
First of all, I have a chicken that's here. Um, okay, this is all. I was looking for a, a moderately priced chicken. You sure? I was looking for a moderately priced chicken, and they did have one. Springer Farms, they had a Springer Farms chicken. But let me tell you, Springer Farms was more expensive. It was like one ninety nine a pound, whereas this one was one forty nine a pound, huh? Which one do you think I bought? Hey, how you doing? No. Actually, we do. We found a box, but it's only six. Oh. And I didn't put them on sale because I was nervous about the people. Okay, we're going to cut this chicken. Can y'all see the chicken? Can everybody see? Everybody can see? Everybody here? TikTok, y'all behaving? Because, you know, y'all likes to cut up around here. Okay. Y'all always, how do you do it? Okay, I cut the legs off. It really ain't no rhyme or reason. You gotta find the joint, see, right here. And you get the leg, cut the leg off like this here, see. Cut the skin open. I imagine this is how they did me when I was on the operating room table. Okay, I imagine this is how she did me. All right, then I'm gonna run up here and I'm gonna grab the wings. Two wings. To fly away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two wings. You gotta cut in between the joints, okay? Like that. All right? So we got two wings, we got two legs. I'm probably the only person that buy a whole chicken steel. <laughs> yeah, this like don't play. Well, I just sharpened it, but it comes. Y'all know this. This is that everyday, this is that Darius cooks everyday night. Oh, hold on. I'm about to make a whole mess with this board slide. Hold on, y'all. I can see it now. Darius Cooks made a rookie move like I burnt them cookies the other day. But let me just say this about them cookies. First of all, I had too much to drink, number one. The ones I burnt. I had too much to drink, number one. And then number two... My oven is like a beast. You know what I'm saying? Like it go from like, it ain't hot to like, bro, what's up? In like two seconds. So, you know, not for nothing. It happens. All right, get around the uh, breastbone so you can pop it like that, all right, around the neck. And then you have the breast. But here's what I like to do with the breast. I take the breast and cut the breast down the middle, cut through the bone, and then I'll take the breast and cut the breast into like as many pieces as I need to. So in this case, it'll be three pieces on the breast because these is these titties is big. Okay, this this is a mature chicken. Okay, this this chicken sang in the choir, the sanctuary choir. This chicken raised kids. <laughs> Hey, but this chicken is lived a good life. You understand me? This is a big titty chicken. So, um, you know, cut the titties off a little bit because you don't need all that titty meat. Not all of it. You know, it's good. All right, now I'm gonna cut the uh, the thigh off like this here. See, cut the thigh off. Thigh one and thigh two. And yes, this is the Darius Cooks Everyday Knife which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. This you can save if you want to make chicken stock and all that. I use chicken bouillon, so. <laughs> all right. And hey, get you a bleach product. Something with some Clorox. Okay, get you something heavy duty. Spray your stuff down with Easy love. All right. Now, if you are a chicken washer and all that, please wash the chicken, child. All right? We do not need you to announce 
to the thousands of people watching that you, your chicken, you wash the ice. Your chicken, you do. If you want to put this thing at the dry cleaners and wash it, who is that up to? You need a skillet. Okay, this is a Darius Cook's everyday skillet. And I'm gonna get it on the stove and get it hot. Hold on, y'all. All right, I'm gonna preheat that um, skillet real nice. Now I'm gonna go very simple on the seat. You feel this? No. Okay. What? I'm gonna say, <laughs> it don't taste like nothing, but God, no. Mm. 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 You can't taste no liquor in this. Mm. You can't taste no liquor in this. It tastes like a slushy, yes. Hey. Like a, a watermelon slushy. Speaking of, you know who anointed? Philadelphia. You want ice? Oh. Philadelphia is anointed. I ate so much food in Philadelphia, it don't make no sense. I had the best barbecue I ever had in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, of all places. I said, the people in Philadelphia, they don't know nothing about no. They said, we don't know about what? <laughs> we don't know what, Darius? I said, the people in Philadelphia, y'all don't know nothing about no dang on. Philadelphia said, yeah, we do. Mm. And I said, okay, Philadelphia. Y'all all right with me. Very simple on the seasoning. A place called Dibs Barbecue. They say it's in the hood. 56 in Lancaster. Lancaster. That's what they said. I don't know if there's north, south, east, west. I don't know where the hell I was. All I know is that barbecue was phenomenal, okay? All I'm doing with this is salt and pepper. Don't worry, all right? Don't you worry yourself. We got some action happening, but to start, I'm gonna hit it with a little salt and a little pepper, okay? That's it. Don't worry about nothing else, all right? Don't worry about it. It's gonna be all right, I promise, okay? The stove got light. What oh, that's the when you turn the thing on. This is a little bit of olive oil. Okay? You can use whatever oil you like. I'm going to do a little olive oil. Now, the roadmap for this chicken, all right, is, uh, see, there they go right there. The chicken don't get a rinse. Google that, all right? Google, should I wash my chicken? If you want to wash your chicken, ain't nothing stopping you from washing your chicken. Honey, put the chicken in the, with the white clothes, with the bleach and the Tide and the Tide pods. Do whatever you want. When the chicken get done out the washing machine, put it in the dryer, put it in there with the stuff. Go for it. Knock yourself out. All right? Oxyclean. Yeah, oxy, yes. With the OxyClean, yes. Do all that. All right, little oil in my pan. And uh, I don't unpack some of my utensils, so. Mm. I'm going to put this chicken on skin side down. I'm not going to crowd the pan, though. Hello? Do not crowd the, plant, the, 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 the pan. Oh. This is not Spirit Airlines, okay? This is chicken. Ooh. All right? Put it in skin side down. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Okay, y'all, hold on. Okay, that's a that's a uh, a thigh, that's a breast, a leg. A thigh. Another thigh. Or put a wing in there. Okay. We just searing it off, getting some color, mm. like me. Okay. Mm. 
this is easy. I don't want you thinking this is hard and difficult because it's not. Just tell yourself, I can do this, okay? All he did was put salt and pepper and olive oil. If I can do this, you can do this, okay? Now, let's get the vegetables ready. I got some bell pepper I had already had cut. I got some onion I already had cut, okay? What is this? There's a leak in this old building and my soul has got to move. Has got to move. Oh, my soul has got... Okay, this is a leak. Okay, we're going to use this tonight. Let me clean this thing off. Hold on while I don't be looking at me. So we can stay clean. Because cookiness is next to godliness. Okay. Now leeks are dirty. Like that post that went viral this morning. Okay. <laughs> leeks can be a little dirty. So what you want to do is we're going to cut them. Now you want to cut off most of the green part. I'm going to tell you, this has flavor too. So if you're in the, the mood to make stocks, like any kind of stock from scratch, like for Donald with Darius cooks, we do a collard green and smoked turkey gumbo. And we save the, um, the green tops of the leeks and use that to make the stock for the actual gumbo, right? So you can do a lot with those tops. You don't have to throw those away if you don't want to, just FYI. Okay, now I'm cutting my leeks like this, and I'm going to get them right into, because they, oh Lord, that was almost my finger. I think we all done cut ourselves at least one time with this knife. You say what? You cut your nail? Yeah. We've all cut ourselves one time with this sharp as knife. So let me get some water in these. So we can just have these sitting in water and just slosh them around. What'll happen is the dirt. Will sort of the dirt and the sand will fall to the bottom and we good. So we have leeks. Are we done? Oh no. We just getting started. <laughs> We're just getting started. Let me check this chicken, y'all. Hold on. Oh, God, yes. Y'all talk about the induction cooking so bad, but baby, look at how even this browning is on this induction cooking. I'm sorry. It gets no better than this. None whatsoever. Can you see that? Ha. 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 It literally gets no better. This is a um, stalk of celery that has seen better days. But just like you, at your worst, God can still use you. So we will use this celery because we can. All right, so we have celery and leeks, right? And onion and bell pepper. You know what we missing? You know what we missing? No taint of garlic. Hmm? No 
saints of God. But don't you worry. I'm loaded. Don't worry. Please don't worry. I got all the garlic we would ever need in life. Literally. Alright, so what I want to do is give this garlic a quick little slication. You could mince this or do whatever you want. I like to mince, I mean I like to slice mine. Whatever you do, just don't use that stuff in a jar. That upsets me and my homegirls. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Fresh or nothing at all. Okay? Did you hear me? Mm -hmm. Fresh. Or nothing at all. All right, garlic is sliced. Let's road map this a little bit. We got a few more ingredients that we need to introduce. One can of diced tomato with the juice, okay? If you were with me on Facebook earlier, we shopped for this at Kroger, all right? That's going to be ready on the side for us to go. And play around, because they have some that have, like, herbs and spices and jalapenos and all that good stuff, all right? Now... I am interested in making this like a tomato and okra white wine situation. But let me say this. Let me take this chicken first. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Let me say this about uh, the okra, right? So you can totally use fresh okra if you want to. Not a big deal. Uh, and before you turn your nose up at okra, just hold on for one second, all right? Before you completely turn your nose up. You can use fresh, you can use frozen. The key to having no slime in your okra is to fry the okra first, okay? So I've got about a cup and a half of frozen okra, not breaded, okay? My deep fryer is over there waiting on me. I'm going to throw this okra in the deep fryer just to cook out the slime, and then it'll be ready to add to my salt, okay? Thank you. You hear that? Okra. Okra Winfrey. <laughs> you need a you need a braising pan for this. The Darius cooks uh, every day. No, what's this? Pearl and gold. Darius cooks pearl and gold. It's beautiful for what we're about to do. Okay. So this chicken that we just seared off is just going to go right in here, okay? That's it. I'm going to put this to the side. Now, if you're doing this for a crowd, you do the rest of that, all right? But ain't nobody here but me and Christian child, and we don't eat but a half a breast a piece, all right? So now, I'm going to start working on my sauce so I get this in the oven, okay? So I'm not rinsing anything out. I want all of that lovely chicken -y, juicy flavor, and I'm gonna add some few things in. So I'm gonna add the bell pepper. I'm gonna add in some of the onion. Okay. Then the leeks and the celery that are now literally clean. I'm gonna add that in here as well. Smells good. The moment those veggies hit the pan, it is like amazing. Just a little pinch of salt to start, okay? Helps bring out the flavors.
helps the vegetables sweat, all that good stuff, all right? A little pinch of black pepper. All right, and look at what I've got going. See, I've got my onion, my bell pepper, uh, celery and leeks happening, and they smell out of this world, okay? Like really good. Uh, we need to talk about biscuits, okay? We need to discuss biscuits, all right? Let's talk about a few little piece of biscuit, all right? Let's go to work. I told you, we came to work tonight. Not play with you, huh? Can you hand me some butter? And bacon powder behind, right there. Oh. Top shelf. Okay. Go to the right. Go to the bacon powder right in front of you right. in the red can. And then the, uh, give me one of them things of butter right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah, the whole, no, give me the whole thing. Somebody online earlier said, oh, I need the flour. I got, I'm good. Somebody online earlier said, uh, you, when I was, we were shopping together, they were like, you didn't pick up any, um, butter. Honey, the last thing I need is butter. I have plenty of it. You got a little warm in here, huh? No, I got a little warm. Hold on, let me cut the air up, y'all. Down, up. Hot. Hold on, y'all. All right, there we go. Let's just don't keep on up. You know that. I said the last thing I need is butter. Okay. Biscuits. Y'all ready? Last time somebody made biscuits online. Oh, I'm sorry. This is your thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> the last time somebody made biscuits online, it didn't go too well. Y'all the one sent me the video. Y'all did. Y'all said there he is. This not it. I said y'all. It's not it. Okay. It's not it. All purpose flour. Baking powder, not baking soda. Now, you know I'm not measuring a thing, which lets you know I done did this a gazillion times. I need a little pinch of sugar over there. That domino sugar right there? Yes. I just need a tinge of that. I ain't measuring a thing. I'm doing it like, like my dear did. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna need it. Let me check on my vegetables. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, it smells amazing. Okay, let me work on the, the rest of this for the vegetables, all right? So we can get this seated in the oven. Garlic, all the garlic that we sliced up, I'm putting that right in here, okay? All this beautiful garlic is going in. Then, I do want to hit it with a tench of white wine, whatever kind. This white wine was five dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay, please do not break the do not break the bank on white wine. You do not need to do that. Okay, just get you a nice. It was on sale too. Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blanc, um, Chenin Blanc. You know, do not break the bank. On this wine, okay? We're going to deglaze the pan. All those juices on the bottom of the pan, we'll pick it up with the white wine. You know, cup and a half-ish. However you feel in, whatever you feel in your spirit, 
okay, with the white wine. It's wine, you know, you can't go wrong with that. I'm gonna take these cans of tomatoes, this can of tomatoes and put this in as well. All right, and uh, you notice that we really haven't seasoned this much until now. I gotta go to the cabinet, okay? Hold the line. We need some of this. We need some of this. We need some of this. We definitely need a tinge of this. With a tinge of this. A tinge of this. Oh, and a little tinge of this will do us some good too. Hi. <laughs> Hi. We have to go to work. We have to season our food. Chicken bouillon. Does no wrong. Is amazing. You get beautiful savoriness and acid and salt without adding moisture, which is important. Garlic powder. This is dried rose or dried ground rosemary. Okay. This is thyme, dry thyme. Okay, this is onion powder. You know, I'm doing a, just a little pinch of each, okay? A little ground fennel. And a little pinch of red pepper flake for personality, spunk, you know what I mean? Just a little something, just a little bit. You ain't gotta really go crazy with it. All right, we'll give that a mix. And I'm gonna add in just a pinch of water. And I'm gonna show you this braising liquid now that we that we have, okay? But before I put the braising liquid on, don't forget, I went ahead and fried up this okra so that it wouldn't be slimy, okay? So I'm gonna put my okra in there too. Right. And now that my I got my okra, I got my tomato, I got my white wine, my leeks, my garlic, all good things are happening. I can take this braising liquid now and throw this all over that chicken. Mm. Okay. That chicken that we seared off, I can put that all over there right there. See? We just gonna tuck in a couple of bay leaves for good measure. Press down, shaking together, and running over. Okay? We're gonna tuck in a couple of bay leaves. You can put fresh thyme in here if you want to. You can put whatever you want, really. All right? See that? See that? All right. Oven's preheated, 350 degrees. We'll see you in a few minutes, okay? By the way, that's the Darius Cook's Pearl and Gold braising pan, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. Now, what are we putting here? Flour, salt, baking powder, a taint of sugar. All right, that's it. Don't do too much. You are not Chef Carmen, okay? <laughs> y'all, why y'all send that to me? Po thing, she was on live. I'll tell the story. You know, I don't mind. I'll tell my old business because y'all don't tell it right, no way. 
Poor thing was on live with her beloved, her bride to be. The sparkle in her eye, the light of her universe, huh? One person brings the picnic basket and the other brings the blanket, huh? And that thing was on Beyonce's internet, making biscuits. And if them things didn't look like brioche dough, okay? <laughs> if them sheets shit did not, y'all sent that to me, and then let me tell you how shady Instagram is. Instagram said, watch it while we on live right now, Darius. I said, y'all, I'll watch it later. They said, no, watch it now. Why I tunes in? Why I did that? Why did I log in and watch that shit live? Now, I really can't talk about nobody because, first of all, I burnt the cookies the other day. Second of all, let me get this right for God humble me on this, okay? <laughs> Could you imagine it? He did all that talking about baking biscuits and he can't even do it right. Let me let me focus on what I'm doing. That way, <laughs> that way it look it come out half looking good. Okay, let me focus on what I got going on. So it come out half looking good. The last thing I need for y'all to get online. Well, y'all already talked about me, so it don't really matter. Okay, y'all already talked about me. So it don't matter. I don't care. All right, biscuit time. Uh, I want you to mix in the flour with the uh, butter. I don't know how many biscuits this is going to make because I didn't measure nothing. I'm doing this by sight. And um, feel and touch. Oh, yeah, I done made biscuits. Oh, let me tell you. Huh? I done made biscuits. I done made thousands of biscuits in my day. Let me shut up, but these don't come out right. <laughs> I thought you made thousands. There is what happened. Let me shut up, but these do not come out right. All right, I'm just mixing up my butter and my flour until it resembles uh, wet sand. And this is a test. You hold it together, make a fist, and if it holds like that in your hand, then that means that you know you're you're in good territory. All right, I am going to mix, mix, mix a little buttermilk in. Because really, buttermilk is the only way to go with this, all right? Do not be out here putting regular milk in your biscuits. Regular milk does not have the acid content that buttermilk has, okay? You learned something today. It's called acid. It's also called a refill. You're drinking. Oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah, we done demolished this. Yeah. We done told this little, we done told this little uh, Hennessy reader up. Buttermilk. Add a little at a time. One thing you do is add some more. One thing I ain't never seen nobody do is take none out, okay? Do you mean to tell me that in one pour, no, I was say, you mean to tell me in one pour I got this right? No, I need to ask more. Now, I do like my biscuits a little bit on the wet side. The Lord spoke to me. Put a little cheese in it. The Lord said, put a little cheese in it. Are uh, you heard? I, heard. I, I don't mind. The Lord said, put a little cheese in it. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. I like mine to be a touch 
on the wet side. The reason is because if it's a touch on the wet side, then I get a good opportunity to fold in flour when I need it. Knead, K-N-E-A-D, when I need it. That way uh, my biscuits have the right consistency and the right texture. And these are looking great. So this is like a nice, like a wet dough, okay? Now we gotta go to work. Now we got work to do. Okay, so now we get some gloves on. More gloves. But you can do it with your fingers, but then you start making a mess. You see what I'm saying? Okay, we call this PPE. All right, and then we sprinkle a little flour down on our surface, see? And then we're gonna run this, this dough through our hands just to make sure. Oh, I need a, um, I got one. I need a, uh, a, um, what you call it? You know when you, what you punch the biscuits out with. Don't worry about it. I got one. I don't know what it's called right now, but I got one. All right. So this is nice and what, huh? Yeah, biscuit cutter. That's what I was thinking of. I, it didn't come out right. Okay. So this is a little too wet. This is what Carmen messed up right here. All right. So you're going to add you a little bit more flour. And you're going to roll your, your dough in your flour. And you're just going to incorporate it until you get something that's like about right here. See? Maybe a touch more. Hold on. I'm going for a, 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 Pacific, a Pacific feel. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, beautiful. All right. Now, I don't use no rolling pin, none of that stuff. All right. Look at that. Before I punch this out, look at that. Isn't that nice? That is beautiful. Now, this is what I do. I use my fist to pound out my dough. If you want to roll yours and use a, whatever you want to use, I don't give a shit. Okay? I'm just going to roll mine out, and I'm going to take this Darius Cook's Royal Wine Glass and punch out me a biscuit, see? Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay? I'm going to punch me out a biscuit like that. I'm going to punch out another one. And I'm going to punch out another one. And I'm going to keep punching till I can't punch no more. Yes. And then you know what we're going to do. We're going to recycle the dough. Somebody, uh, whoever following Carmen, bring on the line. <laughs> whoever, uh, whoever still, you know, she blocked, that thing blocked me a long time ago. She blocked me. I'm glad she did. I couldn't have said nothing. She was saying no way. Uh, okay, so I'm going to punch these out. <laughs> punch these out. Okay, and I got one more here. See? Let me see what I got. I'll probably get about two more in the pan. Let me see if I can work these two more out. Oh, I think I can work them. I think I just got enough. Huh, let me show you this last one. What is God? Not a man that he should lie. Huh? Neither is he the son of man that he should have to repent. Excuse me. Excuse me. Huh? What these ain't? Your grandmama's biscuits. Huh? Cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack, a little buttermilk, and a 350. Well, let me see. This oven be doing the food sometimes. Hold on. I don't really. It be doing a lot of stuff that I don't need it to do yet. It's on convection bake. At 350. We're going to pray that convection bake at 350 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we come right now as humbly as we know how, God, asking for your divine providence and protection over these buttermilk biscuits, God. You created the cow that gave us the milk. You created the plant that gave us the flower. Now we come asking that as you give us the electricity to run this stove, that these biscuits do not burn and they cook properly. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. All right, this is going in. Whew. Let's pray. Because that's why I put them, uh, them cookies. Okay? Them cookies got a little too excited. And them cookies about tore up a little bit. See? All right, let me clean this up. And then I'm going to tell you what I think we should do. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I think we should do. Because we need something to go with the chicken to really pick up the sauce. You know what I mean? That's what we need. And before y'all get to talking, talk about... He can't afford no rolling pin. It go right here. I just don't need it. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Because I'm a G. At, well, let me wait till they come out first. Then we're going to see how much of a G I am. Because we all know, even the best of bakers know that sometimes that oven will fool you. Doc. You be like, oh, it's ready. You put that shit in the oven, the oven be like, uh, <laughs> joke's on you. All right. I got to put my buttermilk back in the refrigerator. And then we're going to work on the rice, okay, that's going in with the stove. All right, I got a scallion somewhere. He goes on right here. Now, these scallions have seen, what, how the song go? What did Andrea say? Better days. Bad. These scallions have seen better days. Okay. Now I got some in there that's better than this, but I'm I don't want to I don't want to waste these. So I'm gonna show you a cute little way. You if your if your scallions is looking like this here, like who did it and what for? Just pull off the the dead stuff. Cause everything dead ought to be buried anyway, Amen. including which I'll be laying next to at oh. night. <laughs> Okay, everything dead ought to be what? Yet buried, including which I'll land next to. All right, I'm going to slice these scallions up real good. I might as well use the rest of them, right? I don't know how y'all. I don't know how y'all fools with me. I say whatever I be wanting to say, don't I? And don't be caring. Somebody was on my live the other day, right? We was on we on Instagram, and we just on Instagram shooting the shit. You know how we do on Instagram? We just be talking, right? A customer was like, "Can the skillet be used on the electric stove?" Sis, we is not talking about skillets right now. We talking about gossip. I said, I shouldn't have said that. But I'm a Capricorn, so sometimes I act first and think later. If you know what I mean. And I think you do. All right, let me get some... Um, I'm going to put these scallions in this little... in this bowl right here, see? And let me get a skillet, another skillet, we are skillet in today, ain't we? Hold, let me wash this one out because I don't want to make no mess. Let me hold, hold the Go, um, what'd you do on commercial break? Go use the bathroom or something. I'm going to wash this skillet out. Mm. Mm -hmm. This commercial break is brought to you by ShopDariusCooks.com. 
where we have the finest in kitchen equipment that will make your life a, a breeze. You can go to our website. It is shopdariuscooks.com and you can use the code queenish because it still works yes. to save 60% at shopdariuscooks.com. I mean, yes, I have another skillet, but I don't want to get one dirty. Okay, so we have scallions for the uh, roll, okay? I'm gonna make the best rice you ever had in your life. Okay, hear me carefully. I'm fin to, F I'm from Chicago, F-I-N-T-O. I'm fin to make the best rice. Rice is good. See, rice ain't never did nothing to nobody. Rice minds its business, mm -hmm. it grow in the field, and it's amazing. So I got queenish. That's the code. If you knew around here, long story, we ain't got time to explain. You need some garlic, too. Did we put it back in the refrigerator? I think so. We did. Oh, I'm sore. I did your run. Huh? You did your run. I did. I did day 44. We're doing 45, 45 lower size in the uh, Darius Cooks Plus group where we are uh, cardio 45 days, 45 minutes. And we're going to go to Target at the end of our 45 days and get a lower size than what we are now. So I'm a 38 in the waist, Aww. down from a 56. Thank you very much. Hey. I, I know you're not talking. <laughs> What a picture! We, what a picture of you, you know looking like photons of fun. And, and when you doing Keep you, doing. What is that? Thunder? Keep doing, no, is that a hurricane? Sure. That's Crystal going to the refrigerator. <laughs> okay, I know she ain't talking. That thing was humongous. Mm. Forget she's got the whole world in her hands. She is the. <laughs> she, <laughs> <laughs> she big as the whole world. <laughs> All right. In that um, skillet, we put some oil. I ain't put enough. Hold on. Now I did. All right. You're going to put the Scallions in, okay? Then we're gonna put the rice in there. No, I'm not washing the rice, all right? If you wanna wash the rice, please go wash the rice, all right? But I'm not washing the rice. Now, my measurement for this is two to one, two parts. Liquid to one part rice. So your your part could be anything. In this case, it's 75% of this bowl. All right? Thank you. And I'm putting this right in. Thank you very much. And I'm going to get my water ready in a second. I do want to mix this together. Because the idea here, let me check this oven. Hold on one second. All right, we're looking good. <laughs> we're looking good. The idea is to toast the rice in the oil, okay? Don't get on the phone. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't get on the phone. Don't call nobody. Okay. 
okay? I'm measuring out my uh, rice, I mean my water, so I can have my water ready. So I'm ready to roll, okay? <coughs> Now, the idea is just to toast the rice until it's like a little light skin. You know what I'm saying? Like, it got barely, girl, I am so sorry. You I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is to toast the rice just until um, it's got a little bit. A color on it but watch it because that pan that hot pan and that everyday skillet do not fucking play mm -hmm. i like the oil better out of this it just tastes better to me Okay, it tastes better. Okay, once the oil, I mean the rice is just about toasted, we can add in the garlic. You don't want to add the garlic in too soon because you're going to burn it. It's not going to taste good. And people are going to talk about you. Okay. So look. My oil, I mean my oil, I keep saying oil. My rice is just toasted. Okay, scallion, garlic. Smells amazing, okay? I'm gonna hit it with a tench. Okay, now I feel this drink. A tench of chicken bouillon. And remember them bay leaves? I'm going to slab me about two of them up in now. But this is a great time to use bay leaves or dry thyme or herbs or whatever you have. But I got two, or I got three, I guess. Bay leaves going in. And then this is why my water is ready to go now. So I ain't got to worry about it. You could use stock, but I ain't got no. is um, we been to let the liquid cook out okay and then once the liquid cooks out we're going to put a lid on top I ain't got no lid to this pan no I didn't put no salt in there quit asking me what if I did did you, did you, did you see me put salt in there that's TikTok all that chicken bouillon all that chicken bouillon, why would I put salt in there? Oh, let me check the biscuits. Hold on. Let me see. We good. We good. We just need one more side dish. To go with this. I have another Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet. <laughs> if there's, this is the definition of getting high off your own supply, okay? If I have not proven to you that this Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet is amazing, honey, I'm cooking biscuits, sauteing, making rice, you name it, in the Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet, all right? Let me tell you why else I'm talking about Carmen. Oh. Tell me why this, they talk. <laughs> Let me tell you what y'all tell me. Y'all okay. did it. This girl, this thing, 
Say she finna start selling pots, pans, and knives. And she said she calling hers the everyday skillet. Ma'am. Ma'am. Now, why would you make your stuff and call it the same thing as mine? But y'all want to say, I be following everybody else. That's what y'all say I be doing. First of all, who was in Houston first? Thank you. Uh, who bought his house almost three years ago? Thank you. Yeah, I did. Who bought his house almost three years ago? Yes, before there was a Tay in the picture, who had a house? All right. You were there when I went to get the keys. You, you, you flew in with me, didn't you? And I went and bought my truck. You was there with me, weren't you? Okay. But y'all want to say it's me. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Y'all want to say, this is bacon, by the way. Because you, I hope you didn't think I was going to do nothing tonight without some bacon in it. Okay. I'm going to put me a little oil to help the bacon out. Put the bacon on over here. We're going to put it on like a medium heat. Okay. A little oil. And a little bacon. I just want the record to reflect that I bought my house first and I had the everyday skillet first. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? The thing is this. Y'all talks about me like nobody's business. And I got tough skin, so I don't give two shits, right? Y'all talk about me, but then people start emulating me. I just want the record to reflect that everything I have done has been original. That's it, okay? I just want the record to reflect that everything... You have seen me do. Has been original. Diced, uh, sliced onion. I put it in with the bacon. All right, I put it in with the bacon. All right, I'm checking the oven so far. Everything looks good. All right, so far in the oven, everything looks good. Uh, a little bit of onion. And I got me a little tinge of bell pepper. Whatever kind you, whatever color you want to be. Red, green, yellow, black, and white. They are all precious in his pot, okay? I just want the record to reflect. Because if we go back a year ago, remember, y'all don't know this. Okay? But me and Crystal was sitting up in Pompado <laughs> eating crab fingers and the, the loaded salad with the creamy vinaigrette crying our eyes out. Okay? We can laugh about it now, but it wasn't funny when it was going on, okay? Y'all talked about me. Everything y'all said, oh, he a crook. Oh, he a, uh, he a thief. Oh, he do this. Oh, he scamming. Y'all all talked about me. Made $700,000 last month. Now everybody asking me, how did he do it? Keep that same energy, would you? Slice you up some bell pepper. Whatever kind you prefer. It don't matter the color. Please, 
Don't come around me now talking about some, I love you. You wouldn't love me a year ago. Keep that same energy. These biscuits fine, honey. All right? They fine. All right, put this in here. Hold on, y'all. Let's stir this up. Make sure I ain't burning nothing. I'm going to put a touch more oil in. I don't have enough fat in on my bacon. Hold on one second. Huh? Yeah, it smells delicious, don't it? I know. Let's check my oven. Woo! We're getting there. We ain't there yet. But we're getting there. All right. I do need to slice up a little bit more garlic. One more time. This is the last slice of the night. All right, FYI. Y'all know I ain't got no good sense. Okay, look at me now, exactly. Okay. But a year ago, you wasn't saying that. A year ago, oh yeah, he this, I never did like him. I'm gonna wear this out for the next year, so get ready for it, okay? Uh, wearing it out. Where's Lavelle? Huh? Where's my ex from 20 years ago? Why hip Lavelle with them baby men? Where he at? Huh? Y'all should have got me started with these drinks. Where is Lavelle? Huh? Oh, I always knew that he was Darius Crooks. Now, if you really want me to tell you the tea, I'll tell you the tea. The reason let me, let me get this cabbage on first. Hold on. Hold on one second. You just hold on. Because I got to get this cabbage in so it can cook. But I'm going to tell you that now. I, I, you know, I tell it's my own business because they all tell it wrong. Y'all was all down to the rolling bar. Where is Roland Martin? And you know. You can't say nothing to me. This is my own live stream over here. Huh? I control each one of these phones and that internet in that room in there. I pay the bill every month. So I don't know whether you're going to be cool or come out of the bag on me, but it really don't matter. Because the man you're in love with is mine. From the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Huh? Let me get this cabbage on. Hold on. Where's it? What if I got one? What? Hey. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I got one. I just don't know where the hell it's at. Hold on, y'all. Oh, here it go. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna say now I know I have a cabbage in here. I bought one. Let me let me get this cabbage in and then we're gonna talk. Huh? Woman to woman. I don't think it's being, I'm not being any more than fair to let you know where I'm coming from. Okay, ain't that what she said, Shirley Brown? Woman to woman. That's what she said. Let me check on this food. Hold on, y'all hold the line. I'm gonna get into it in one second. You know I am. Okay, my liquid is cooked out of my my liquid is cooked out of my rice, and y'all be getting on my nerves about some. Do the lid? Use the second skillet as the lid. All right, cut the heat off. Back of the stove it goes, and we're gonna put this other skillet on top and make ourselves a lid. You know my name is not Carmen. Thank you very much. Okay, we're gonna roll a little piece of butter. Is some honey somewhere over there? No, it might be over here. It's over here. 
I'm going to tell you why Lavelle mad in one second. I ain't forget. Wasn't he doing all them live streams? I don't know, but wasn't he on there? Darius is my, uh, my assignment for this season. We have to stop him. We have to stop Darius Crooks. Y'all don't remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Let, me, let me help you refresh your memorization. It ain't, this ain't no shade. It's the truth. That's the difference. You know what I'm saying? I'm not shading you. This is the truth. Put your little piece of butter on here on your stuff, okay? And then run your little piece of honey on top of that, would you? Like this. Oh, can y'all see this? No, look. Put your little honey and a little butter on top of your... Now, I don't know what Carmen was doing. But this, to me... Woo, woo, woo. Looks like a proper buttermilk biscuit. Huh? We're going to let it cool off for a second before we dig in. Let's get this cabbage together. So we're talking about the bell. And it's wide hips. Let's slice up our cabbage. The thinner you slice it, the quicker it cooks. We will add the cabbage into our salad spinner. We will fill the salad spinner with water. And we will rinse our cabbage off. And to ensure we have gotten all of the water off, we will spin it a few times. And now we're left with pure clean cabbage. I'm going to add to that oil, bacon, bell pepper situation. Now we're going to throw us a little water in here. Put your little water in there. Now, let me tell you why Lavelle is upset. While my chicken is almost done braising. This thing is upset because I forget the year. Well, about 2000. 7, 2008, you know, I'm shaky on the, the actual year. I was in Chicago, and I had a cupcake bakery in Chicago. I've always been entrepreneurial, so I decided to open up um, a get into the food truck business, right, in Chicago. It was just starting back in the day, and I get involved. So... I have a cupcake truck out on the streets. Things are doing well. Some of you watching may have been a customer from back in the day. I'm going to add this garlic into this cabbage, okay? <laughs> and um, so Lavelle saw great opportunity. And so what he did was he and my friend Calvin at the time, who I'm no longer friends with, and I bet you they thought I would, they would, this story would never see the light of day in front of thousands of people. But I'm going to tell my truth. So this is what Lavelle did. So Lavelle said, and Calvin said, we should get in together and we could all do the food truck together. I'll do the cooking. Lavelle will do something. Calvin would do operations, whatever, whatever. So these are my friends at the time. So I said, sure, these are my friends. Why not? I would never do it today. In a million years, but then I was dumb and young. You was dumb and young too. Shit. Some of you got kids by somebody. You was dumb and young. So we get together. Um, I buy the truck. They give me money. I think we all put up, 
Well, we put up varying amounts. I may have put up, I forget the amounts, but let's say I put up 10,000, Lavelle put up 4,000, Calvin put up 2,000, right? So we all have equity now in this uh, food truck business. And so I named the truck the lunch machine, Eat Better Lunch. Some of y'all coming down to with Darius Cooks, oh, the salad dressing is so good. I've been doing salad dressing for 25 years. It better be good. You see what I'm saying? So I'm doing salads, soups, juices, lemonades, you know, giving you a healthier option for lunch. So they want to get in on it. Okay, cool. All right. So we had a couple of meetings. Then we had another meeting and I said, this is it. I'm out. They wanted to spend money on telephone lines and spend money on voicemails. And at the time... Nobody was doing that in the industry, right? So if you're from Chicago, if you're from Chicago, hold on, y'all. Chicago, at the time, the top food truck out was called Flirty Cupcakes. They've, they've since disbanded, but it was called Flirty Cupcakes, right? All Flirty had was an iPhone, and that's it, and Twitter. So I'm like, let's just recreate what they're doing. They want to spend money on this, spend money on that, this, and the third. I said, I'm out. Y'all take the truck. Y'all have at it. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. So now, about a month later, I said, I ain't seen nothing with the truck. I ain't seen the truck on the street. I ain't, where's the truck? What's going on? So I called a mutual friend of ours at the time. His name is Nick. I called Nick. Nick said, oh, they at the, um, he said country. I think he meant the county, which is like 26 in California, the jail. Because that's where Calvin's best friend, Jamel, worked at the jail. So they was over there thinking they was going to make a killing. So I said, Lavelle, where the truck at? Lavelle said, the truck is parked in my backyard. Why is the licensed food truck in your backyard? He said, we was having a hard time. So we decided to open up a restaurant instead. You did what? Because they was on DariusCooks.com at the time looking up recipes. You see what I'm saying? So you doing what? Opening up a, a restaurant. These fools that went out here, signed the lease. They out here painting the walls to open up a cafe in South Shore in a food desert. And now, my the name I came up with, it was called The Lunch Machine. On Twitter, it was Eat Better Lunch. The name of their restaurant, Eat Better Cafe. You mean to tell me y'all couldn't come up with a better name than that? Y'all couldn't come up with a better name than that? Y'all got to come up with a name called Eat Better Cafe? Fine. So let me tell you how all the shit go down. Pick it up. There you go. Oh, it's hot. It's fine. <laughs> Not what you were saying. Oh. So they had a thing called Eat Better Cafe. Okay. So I say, I tell you what, 
Y'all not using the truck. Sell the truck back to me. I'll take the truck out. I'll make money. Okay? So, this shit's good as hell. Mm -hmm. Baby, these biscuit. Somebody call Carmen. <laughs> so, I said, give me the truck back. I will give you what you put into the truck plus an additional $1,000. Lavelle was out of money. So Lavelle said, yes. But then he said, let me ask Calvin. The Bible says, what cometh before destruction? Every single time. So here go Calvin, right? Calvin like, well, hold on one second. Like, if you want the truck back, we'll give it to you. But Calvin says, I want 50% of the revenue, I'm sorry, of the profit. 50% of the profit this is the braised chicken. Indefinitely. I said, deal. So, to broker the deal, I end up going over to the cafe. That's how I knew it was there. I was in there. So, I goes over to the cafe. And... They have about a six-page contract. Now, I don't know if you remember me telling you that I purchased the truck with some of their money. When you go buy a vehicle, you have to register a vehicle to a person's name. In essence, the vehicle belongs to that person. So legally, I'm signing a contract to give me back what already belongs to me. But these the people y'all want to listen to on that little tired YouTube channel he got, okay? Now, I said, okay, I'll do it. I go over there, I, I look at the contract, I sign it in three seconds. Calvin said, you signed this too fast. Well, let me look at it and make it, everything I write in the contract? I said, it's your contract. Okay? This is your contract. You made this contract. What do you mean everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I'm going to grant to your terms. I'm going to go ahead and sign the contract. So at the time, I was talking to this guy that lived in Memphis. No, he lived in Arkansas, but we met up in Memphis, right? We meet up in Memphis. So Calvin and Jamel decide to ride with me to go to Memphis. Cool. So we go to Memphis, and on the way back, Calvin is in the back seat because he's like, oh boy, payday is coming. I will never forget this story. And I don't care how drunk I am or how high I am, I will never forget the details of this story. And everybody who's watching me who's heard this story before, I'm telling the exact same story the exact same way every single time. He was in the back seat. Mm -mm, payday is coming. I said, yeah, child, it is. All right. So payday was like a week away. He ready to get paid. He like, yes, we finna make money. Yes. So I sent him the balance sheet. Nobody thought about capital. I had to hire staff, pay for cups, get gas. Nobody ever thought about capital expenditures. What restaurant? What food truck opens up on the first month and is in the black? Now, if you're Darius Cooks, you can do that. But back then, I wasn't, I was just Darius. You see what I'm saying? So he goes, I'm ready. So I tell him, I say, All right, you ready? So am I. I send the balance sheet over. Baby, that thing was like, What is this? I said, well, we had capital expenditures. And let's not forget, the contract 
that was signed and executed says 50% of the profit. As the chief executive officer, it is well within my jurisdiction to decide how the finances are split. If I wanted to give myself a spot bonus, as the chief executive officer, I have that right. There is no board to stop me. Honey, if you could have seen this smoke coming out of them ears, that's, I'm talking about them, that was 50 Sam hot, baby. All right? They was 50 Sam hot. Oh, they was pissed off at me. They said, I can't believe I got them at their own game. That's why Lavelle is pissed. Lavelle is 50 years old, starting a gossip blog about nothing. And it's as boring to watch as paint dries off the wall. But y'all want to believe what they got to say? So, honey, believe it. When I tell you that thing was so mad at me, he been mad for years. And here's the thing, when I first left Chicago, 2011, I'll never forget, I was coming back. Oh, 38, 38, 57, you name it. 38, that's how hard they were. They was 38 and 57. Seven and eight is 15, five and three is eight. They was 95 hot. They was 95 hot, okay? They was 30, they was 50, what is it, 57 and 38 mixed together. They were so mad at me. Okay. They were so pissed at me. So I'm on the truck. Downtown Chicago. Making my money. Here go Calvin. Now he worked for C uh, CTA. The, the bus. The, the train. You know the Chicago Transit Authority. So he see the truck downtown. He gets on the truck. Right. And he was like. He was like. Um. Why would you do this to us? We're supposed to be friends. We could have done this together. Hand me them two sauces on top of there. We could have done this together. Why would you, why would you do this? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why you would, why you would do this to me. Excuse me? You don't? You, were you not there a few minutes ago when y'all tried to get me and did you upset because I got you? Before you can get me? I like crunchy cabbage, sorry. I like overcooked cabbage too, but I like crunchy cabbage the most. If you want it cooked more, you just cook it a little more. It'll be soft. When I tell you Baby, them things was upset at me. And they have been upset for years. So here's the thing. They never thought in a million years I would make something of myself. You see what I'm saying? They always had me very small-minded to them. In their minds, they were the superstar. I was nobody. This is why I only review black owned restaurants because i believe in the power of the underdog okay those things have been mad at me for years and guess what i tf do not care okay i tf they've been mad for you oh about 20 years they've been upset with me child could you imagine being upset with somebody for 20 long years? Who they mad at me? He wanted his name in life. And the crazy thing is, I don't even chase this life like this. You know what I'm saying? Like this life is cool, but I don't even chase this life in that particular way. Like I enjoy what I do, but I'm not around here chasing fame. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm out here just doing the work of the Lord. That's it. 
That's why they upset. They've been mad at me for ages. Okay? I'm talking about for ages they've been upset with me. See, when you fry the okra, it don't be slimy. Okay? I know y'all think slimy okra is, is going to be slimy, but it's not. Let me fry. Let me see if you need a little salt before I give it to Crystal. Hold on one second. Last thing I want to do is give us something that needs some salt on it. Ooh. Y'all see that? That's the chicken thigh we just made. Let's see. What's wrong? Mmm. So we just made, they never thought I would make it. See what I'm saying? They didn't think that at some point I make a name for myself. And when all of that stuff was going on, you know, all of that um, stuff with uh, the Kitchen Easter and Rolling Martin and all that, they were rejoicing. Huh? Who's got the last laugh now? Huh? Is it good? Gracious, it's delicious. It's a little braised chicken with okra and tomato. A little cabbage with bacon. The biscuits we already ate. We can't eat that much bread. We both had gastro bypass. We can't do that. If you want a biscuit, come get one. We can't eat this. And we really can't fool too much with this, with this rice. But we're gonna eat a little bit and hope the surgeon don't see us. Okay, we're just gonna eat a little piece of this like this here. Braised chicken, buttermilk biscuit. See, look at the okra. Y'all think the okra gonna be slimy. Look at that. You see that? The okra is not slimy because we fried the okra first. So once you fry the okra first, it picks up the flavor. Mmm, it's so good. It picks up the flavor of everything else and it's absolutely zero slime. No slime. Mmm. Okay. All right, now listen. If you know Lavelle, say a prayer for him. No doubt he's going through. Okay? He's, oh, I ain't say grace. Grace. No doubt he's going through. But that's all right. Okay? What is God? Good. When? All the time. Recipes like this you can only get in one place. That's DariusCooks.tv. Two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. And I tell it's one hell of a story. All right? All right, PJ, on Facebook. All right. All right. Uh, two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life and this live stream is my food. Until next time, I have to wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I know he pissed off. Lavelle. Oh. And asked me, do I give two shits? Nope. I don't give a damn.